And now, literally, it's gone the other direction. The balance has gone to the other side, which brings us up to where we are right now. Most, so much so that the economy of America has so much collapsed that the euro is coming to our rescue. The Europeans are coming to our rescue to bring us back. Because, folks, hear me. This is setting the stage. Because this one world economy has got to come into existence some way. Let's go back a year ago, a year and a month ago, when uh, out of Berlin, Germany, and German, by the, by the way, German, I just read this today, was one of the biggest supporters because they have the best economy going on there. You would have known that if you knew you, back before the, the wall was torn down, you had to know this was going to happen. The euro could replace the dollar as top currency. That was a year ago. Listen to what this says. The euro could replace the U. This is only a year ago, and they're saying it could happen. Now it's it's a reality. The euro could replace the U.S. dollar as the world's primary reserve currency. A German magazine quoted from Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan as uh, 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 as saying on Monday. Greenspan told the Weekly Stern it was quote absolutely conceivable that the euro will replace the dollar as a reserve currency or will be traded as an quality important reserve currency now listen to this uh, what did i say there equally equally see i did i did that's all right good i'm going to learn i'll learn one of these days i was born in early age okay, yeah right yeah right preacher <laughs> the dollar, I'm, quoting, I'm, I'm still quoting from this article, the dollar no longer has much of a lead over the euro. A year ago this was true. He said, uh, uh, adding that the European Central Bank had, quote, developed into a global economic force to be taken seriously. Additionally, there are many. Uh, there has been some suggestions that the recent weakness of the U.S. dollar might encourage various parties to increase their reserves in euro at the expense of the dollar. In other words, all these companies started moving over there because their money made a lot more. Now, folks, let's stop for a second. That's only a year ago. What's going to happen one year from now, seeing what we've already done so far? You say, what do you mean, John? I'm telling you, folks, listen to this. This... European Union is going to be the superpower, according to the Bible. Mark it down. But that's just the beginning. Because that's only a stage and setting for something bigger than that. Now, by the way, remember what the scripture says? As the toes of the feet were part of iron, part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And true enough, folks, when you look at them, they're in Europe... They are constantly trying to get unity. If you've had, I don't know how many have ever been to Europe very often or whatever, but you know when you talk to people there, and that they're all political and they want something to happen and they don't want to do this. And they're all the time fighting and bickering back and forth. Here was a demonstration. One government for Europe. There's still this urge to get it in unity. But just as the Bible says, it won't ever really show up. There's never going to be this unit because you can't make uh, iron and clay gel. It just ain't going to happen. But this, listen to what he goes on to say. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, and they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another. All right, now watch this. <clears throat> this comes just a few, uh, a few years back when the, the European leaders finally agreed on the first constitution. In other words, you've got to have a constitution to have an organization, right? Listen to what this says. This is astonishing. The European Union leaders agreed Friday on the first constitution for the reunited continent, spelling out the voting system of the nation's right of the Block 25 members. Watch this bold letter statement. But keeping God... Out, but I'm sorry, but keeping out any reference to God, officials said. This comes from Brussels, Belgium, this place that we told you that, the, that their monument is an iron molecule. And the, what does the Bible say? Well, the Bible says that they're, they're going to try to attempt 
Now think about this, folks. Let's do some history again for a second. How many know that the reason why we had revival in America is because much of the revivalists came from Europe? Some of the greatest men of God, the preachers and teachers, you talk about some of the greatest men that's ever, well, the history of our Bible. We have a Bible, and you have a Bible in your lap right now because of the revival that broke out in Europe. The European nations, if anybody has rich heritage of God, it's there. And yet their constitution says, no God, no God. Now, folks, everybody look at me. That's because what this is based on is literally Antichrist. You say, well, John, what do you mean? The Antichrist, that's, 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 that's the guy getting ready to run for office. No, he's not the Antichrist. He's not the Antichrist. I guarantee you, absolutely guarantee he's not the Antichrist. Absolutely, because the Bible tells you where he's coming from. And yet, here's this amazing thing. Listen closely. <clears throat> this man of sin that shows up, the Antichrist will come as a peace man. Here is a, here is a group who's using a noted symbol worldwide, historically, the cross of Nero, the upside down broken cross. It's used in the occult world, in Satanism, where they blaspheme Jesus Christ. I guarantee you go to school tomorrow, you ask, Every high school student, when you draw that picture, what is that? 99% of them will tell you it's what kind of sign. Peace. And isn't that odd that the Antichrist is a man of peace? And the Bible says he comes with signs and lying wonders. You know, here's an interesting sign for you. A sign is called the peace sign. Did you know, folks, that the former seat of the EU commission is designed to look like the famous inverted cross, the peace sign. You fly over that and see it, it's, it's pretty amazing. However, when you read in Daniel, we showed you this last night, that it says in verse 20, uh, 11, 21, in his, in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall give the honor of the kingdom. And by the way, you know what they're going to do? The scripture says that there's going to come ten toes. And I'll show you something about this in a minute. And they're going to hand it over to him. And he's going to overthrow three. And he's going to go back down to seven. You know what I thought was interesting? This is just my perspective. You know there's a group right now known as the G7. And to show you this is just practice for what's going to end up happening one day. Here's the thing. But he shall come in what? What does it say there? Peaceably to obtain the kingdom by flattery. Much like Adolf Hitler with his twisted views of world dominance and what he declared to be a thousand year reign of peace in which he didn't even last a thousand days. Hitler, who also believed in twisting signs and symbols. And as I showed you last night, and again, anywhere you go in America, ask people where they wear around their necklace. On a necklace, they wear them on t-shirts. What are you wearing? Oh, it's a peace sign. Oh, really? Do you know that where, where they come from? In reality, that's a sign of anti-Christ. You, you will, they'll fight you over that. Well, let me ask you, if they're willing to fight for a stupid thing like that, how much, how much more deception would go with a man that would show up that it truly in, in, in dwell with the spirit of Satan all over him? The wicked one. But did you know what, folks? There are absolute religions that are united, that are trying to bring in all the world's religions into one. And this shows itself mightily in this prophecy when you read also in Revelation chapter 17 about a harlot religious system. A system that, you know, the Bible likens the church like a bride and like a virgin. But here, John is astonished when he is seen when he is shown a whore riding on a beast. And we find out that this beast is the same beast that's going to try to rule the world. Well, here's the thing. Read Revelation 17, and you read about this woman riding the beast. Well, everybody, take a look at this coin. If you don't believe me, I have, I have several of these because of times I've been to Europe. This is a, the two euro. When you flip it over on the back, you will see a woman riding 
on the back of this beast. 